I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Oh god. Mole rat on a stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. Bye. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had enough of lions in his foolish ways. I'd just leave that if I were you. Personal log entry 142. I can sum up living on the Pridwin in four words. I miss field assignments. Don't get me wrong, the research we're doing is exciting stuff, but life on this ship is a nightmare. I'm trapped in this metal tube 18 hours a day. I still can't decide who smells worse, the soldiers or the mole rats. And what passes for conversation among the grunts makes mutants seem scholarly. I'm gonna speak to Proctor Quinlan. Field scribes cannot have it. Please state the nature of your medical. Excuse me, Proctor Quinlan. Ah, Knight. You have technical documents, perhaps? Or looking to assist on a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. These will prove interesting. I'll file them immediately. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember. The Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? 
Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man Warheads to the Prudwood. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course. Nothing stopping you from using the door gun while in flight. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be grateful that I'm making an exception. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility, the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? What about those energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected? Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology, due to the unusually high frequency. But the source is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we send a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. I wouldn't be surprised if the energy reading were caused by some type of... Institute weapon. Is there anything else? Any suggestions where I should look next? I'd pursue your lead regarding Dr. Amari. I'm not certain if she's a crackpot, or if she can genuinely assist your search. But our sources say she has some interesting technology at her disposal. Anything else, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. the next recovery team will bring back some decent supplies. Been having to get real creative Our lately. vertebrates should hey, give us the air the superiority in town, we need to win this the war. Institute doesn't have a chance. Proctor Teagan's looking for folks to procure supplies from local farms. You should talk to him. Hungry. Rations are first come, first serve. Can't talk right now. 
checking on a death claw without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. Well, the Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. I expect you could use a resupply after a scrap like that. Have anything unusual? I have some special mods I've been working on. Sort of a hobby I have to pass the time. Real, high-powered stuff. Slap a few of them onto your weapons, and I am pretty sure they'll put a smile on your face. Let's hear a bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. The food stores don't replenish themselves, so I need legs on the ground to hit up farms in the area. We'll be requisitioning a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go for when I send out a collection team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers, by any means necessary. I'm in. Perfect. Here's the location. Convince the settlement to support the Brotherhood, or take over the settlement by force. Excuse me, Proctor Teagan. Those farmers give you any trouble? I trust you know what to do. I'll take a look. All of my weapons are mission ready. Waiting your command. And. Proctor. Most farmers won't be too happy about donating. I'll take a look. Sure, I've got something that'll put us.
sense. Shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. Accessible through the Nuka World Transit Center. Parking fees will apply. Price is subject to change due to end of season. Need to focus on taking the castle back.
behind him. Focus on getting the radio fixed for right now. All right, good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are gonna have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Meyer lurks or eggs you find. A reminder of what we're 
fighting for. If Let's go that see if there's radio left transmitter over there. there had power, we could broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. I can't believe we actually managed to take that thing down. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm gonna go see what else. <coughs> We've got to run some power to the transmitter. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast.
Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. He's going to believe that we actually killed that thing. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just... Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. This is your mind. I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. A pack, I'll mark it on your map. We can this use all the support we can get. So I'll see what you can do to help. Anybody in the vicinity of Grey Garden, please go see what they need there. A good reminder of what we're fighting for. <coughs> I've had some bad news. Super mutants raided a settlement. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's take each weapon.
point, I shoot. What's up? Don't worry. I only test the weapons on cover. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's take a look. Each weapon test. Got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protect. I've got a few minutes to browse. Purchase. Uh huh. Don't be shy now. Chances are. Mm hmm. I've got a few minutes to browse. Remember, no returns, exchanges, or death threats. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Where the steel is? I'm not buying that. We come in peace.
Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about me. Hey May have walked out Here of the den, Emma, I'm not, but I never walk out on you. Hmm. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. Nick and I are gonna share a mind? Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, uh, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side.
initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. either drunk or not around. This may prove I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People always hoping for something better. I usually end up with something worse. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There! Try that one. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. 
finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. It's gonna be fine. You'll s I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. There was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. 